Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Sumas page 41, which discusses that when it comes to an animal that does damage, there is a requirement to sometimes pay full damages, but if it gores with its horn, so then the first three times we consider it to be a tom or tame, and therefore you would only have to pay half damages. And this has major ramifications because when it comes to a person who admits to their own mistake, and they say, for example, I stole something. So in that situation, a person is only allowed to return that which he claims to have stolen, because that is considered to be a monetary loss. However, if there is an additional kanas penalty, which is above and beyond it, which is the law of stealing, that you actually have to pay back double. And so if you stole $100, you actually have to return back 200 So in that situation, you would not be believed to also have to pay the second $100. And when it comes to paying half damages, there's the discussion whether or not this is considered to be a penalty or a monetary obligation, which again would have the ramification whether or not a person admits to having owed half of these damages, whether or not he would be required to pay. Now, in Babylonia, in Babel, they actually were not allowed, when it came to court cases, to say a person was guilty to have to pay these penalties. The only level that they were allowed to actually uh, use as a court case and to say a verdict that this person is guilty is to pay back the damages that the person caused, but not any additional penalties. But the Babylonians in Babel, again, did have certain authority. And one of the things was that they had a wild animal. They would be allowed to actually excommunicate this person. And the Talmud actually concludes this chapter by telling us that if you have a Kelev Ra, a bad dog, a rabid, wild animal in which is not chained and it's running wild on your property, or for that matter, if you have a ladder and its rungs are wormy and weak and soft, in which any person who may decide to climb up that ladder could unfortunately be severely hurt or killed, on this the Torah tells us you're not allowed to literally put blood in your house. And when a person has these types of things lying around, these things are exceedingly dangerous. And therefore, because of that, the Torah says you're not allowed to have them in your home. And of course, the Gemara says it explicitly. This is referring to having a rabid, wild animal, a wild dog, in which there's the potential possibility a person who comes anywhere near your property, that that person is going to be damaged because of that the people in Babylonia actually would excommunicate a person who would have such an animal.